M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the FTM200. Let's add our hotspot and store to memory on our FTM200. So, first thing we'll do is go into VFO mode. And we're on the A band, there's A and B. And we will type in the frequency using our fist mic. Okay, just four, three, eight, five, seven, five. That's in there. If you make a mistake, just key the mic. Now we do need to get our call sign in there if we're going to be using C4 FM. So just hold down F menu. Go to menu 118, which is right at the end. I think you can add shortcuts for some of these in the F menu. But anyway, that's another video. Quite a long way down. I don't know why they've done it this way. It's just long-winded, isn't it? Should have done a grid. But anyway, call sign, like so. And then just push the channel knob. And there's my call sign. You can move it right and left with your channel changer. Or you've got arrows at the bottom. If you want to go backwards, you can use that symbol there. You can change the numbers by highlighting one, two, three. And to change back to letters, highlight A, B, C. So as you type, it moves it automatically to the right. And when you get to the end, hold down the channel channel change knob. Like so. And it's in there and it will show it at the bottom. And if you turn the radio on and off, like so, it will appear. You do need that or it won't work, basically. And I've got my APRS in there, but that's separate. Okay, so we've got the channel. Now we need to select the mode. Push the DX button. If it's got a line above it, above the DN, that means it will automatically switch to FM analog if a carrier is received. Otherwise, go to DN mode and it will lock it in. And then we may as well set our power. So we'll go F menu. We're not using a shift, but our power is here on high. Let's move it to, to push, select it, push it with the channel knob and then turn the channel knob. We'll put it on low. The other thing it'd be nice to do is to get rid of any shifts. Now there's no shifts showing, but if you do select and hold F menu, go to 24, I think it is. 24 to turn off any shifts. Or well, you could just turn off AMS. So there's repeater shift and it is showing it as off. If you push F menu, automatic repeater shift is off as well. And that's there, highlighted in orange, and you can push it. And you can go on, off, okay. Leave it off, I would. So there's your Simplex channel, that is my hotspot. Now we're going to save it to memory. So hold down VM. Choose the channel you want to save it to. So let's go 06. Push the channel knob and click right okay now if we go to memory mode we're in memory mode now that's vfo if we push again vm turn to the channel it's there but it's not named so now we hold down vm go up to that channel push the channel knob again this time click edit and there's the frequency and we could add it to scan but in the tag section Push the channel knob and we're going to call it hotspot and I like it capital so we'll turn it to capitals like so and we're just going to put in hotspot. Now I've got an open spot so I would put in on that one I would just put open spot. Hot and uh, PQRS. And again it's a simplex frequency with, with, all, with all of these hotspots and that's the good thing about it. Unless you're using a repeater, that's different. Right, then it's in there. Now hold down channel knob or, or a duplex hotspot. I never thought of that. Then turn down till it says OK. Once it says OK, hit that. And again, OK twice. And look, you're now, it's now called hotspot. We didn't name the other one. So that's it. You're all set to use your hotspot. Now let's see if the DX button works. So we'll just hold down the D. That's looking good. And then you can do, if you push search direct, that's 
you can list all the channels or you can type individual ones that you're looking for, like so. How do we back out of that? Is it the D, push the DX? Yeah, you know, I just held down the DX and it backed out completely. So push that again. Let it, it's called a handshake, isn't it? Let it handshake again. It's got to wait for someone to stop speaking. And then you push the DX again. Okay, when they stop speaking, you're back in. And you've got America link there. If you do, if you go, you can select all as well if you back out. So that's enough for now. We'll do a more detailed video on, on the whole YSX functionality, but we're into the hotspot. We've created a, a channel, a memory channel for our hotspot. So bye for now. Thanks for watching. And to back out, like I said, you just hold down D. Although you're still there listening. Yeah, very good exercise for both of you. Sounds excellent. Yeah. I wonder if it'll work in PMG mode. There you go. There's PMG mode, manual, and we can push the channel. And it will automatically try and find everything. And we need to add some busy channels here into one of these. I think we can do this. So let's let's back out of PMG and now hold down PMG. All right. Press it and then no. Have we filled all the memories? Let's try that one. Let's back out. Yeah, it's not going to put that in. So, okay, bye for now. 7-3, all the best. Okay.